Hey everybody. Guns.com. NRA pushes against extending background checks to Social Security. Uh, National Rifle Association is convinced White House moved to restrict some Social Security recipients from owning Goodbye. firearms. Sorry about that, folks. Will amount to the largest gun grab in American history. Uh, Chris Cox, executive director of NRA's Institute of Legislative Action, appears on lobby group radio program Cam & Co. to decree the move meant to bar mentally ill persons from gun ownership by closing loophole in National Institute criminal background check. Uh, you know the situation here, folks. You know the situation here, folks. The NRA basically wants to close the loophole that anyone not doing their own financials are uh, unable mentally to use and own a firearm. Uh, this is literally our Obama administration using one of the most respected, trustworthy federal programs in history of federal programs against the people. It's there to serve. Obama administration ban could potentially keep some 4.2 million people identified as having fiduciary uh, handle their social security payments from owning guns. And some 59 million Americans received estimated 863 billion in social security uh, benefits last year. So some 59 million. So what you're talking about folks looks like it's very close to about 70 million Americans who would basically be affected this. Can you imagine what would happen if 70 million Americans lost their gun rights overnight, especially those who have fought and served in the banker wars who were basically watching their grandsons and their granddaughters grow up with nothing, who were in their older years ready to die. They'd basically get ready just to bite the bullet anyway, so why not do a little hissy fit with their guns before they go? Hey, if I was getting ready to kick the bucket and they were doing that kind of stupid shit, why not 